Now, with the release of Pop Smoke's album the other day, there's been a lot of backlash about this album, and it's all being directed to Steven Victor. Is this backlash an indication of how hot garbage that album is? Or is the album good and people overreacting? Let's discuss. Shout out to all the yo yas on the east side. It's your boy KD. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. Almost immediately when this album dropped, there was people already tearing this thing apart. I mean, right off the bat, Mike D, who's one of Pop Smoke's best friends, stated on his Instagram that he had no involvement in this album and he did not even know that it was dropping until it was broadcasted on the internet which is crazy, which kind of goes to show how little involvement the people that were around Pop Smoke had to do with this album. I know Pop Smoke's brother was involved with this, but it looks like the people that Pop Smoke really came up with making the music were not involved for this album. Another thing that I saw was that Cowboy was also left off the album. This is the second time Cowboy got left off the album. And I know he was not happy about this either. And once again, Steven Victor's name is getting mentioned with this backlash. Cowboy is also another person expressing disdain for the people that are controlling Pop Smoke's music at the moment. We also see Rowdy Rebel who's endorsing Eli Frost for being upset of his removal on the song Top Shotta. Now, Top Shotta was a song that originally had Eli Frost, but he was removed and replaced by Pusha T. And if you look on Instagram, it looks like Drake also agreed with this sentiment that Eli Frost should not have been removed. There was so much outrage about this that Steven Victor had to make a statement. He blames the end results of Top Shotta on sample clearances, which I don't know if that's true, but it is a possibility. So with all of this backlash on the album about who got featured on it, there was a lot of features on there that people did not think should be there. Like I saw Dua Lipa in there, like that's all cool and all, but you know, this happens every time an artist passes away. Like, the control of their music goes to somebody, and there's a lot of people that were in that person's life that do not agree with the decisions that they're making. And in the other video that I made about Pop Smoke's album, I did mention that to me, this seemed like it was gonna be a money grab. Like, they saw the huge, the huge success of Pop's last album, that they put this album together and it is selling it's it's looking like it's first week it's going to do over 100k so they it looks like they are going to be successful in what they wanted the album to do now the question is is the album good or is it hot garbage in my opinion there are certain songs on there that really do not belong anywhere those can completely go away, but honestly, there are some good songs on there. Manslaughter with Rick Ross is dope. About a Million with 21 Savage, dope. 30 with Busy Banks, that back and forth that they did was amazing. So there are some good songs on there. A majority of the collaborations are what seems to not fit. And I think that's what people are really having a problem with. I think the fact that Pop Smoke still had so much material that was still able to have me rocking on this album is amazing. Pop Smoke in a lot of these songs, even though these were obviously pre-recorded verses, was the best part of the album. And that's, that's a rare thing to say, especially after someone has passed and someone is taking care of their music. So all in all, the fact that I'm able to bump half of this album is a feat in itself. It really does go to show that Pop Smoke was in an area in his life where he was growing and the artist that he was about to become was about to be colossal.
And it's unfortunate, I swear. I feel like I feel it even more because I live in New York. But I think everybody in the world feels this, that it is unfortunate that Pop Smoke's life got cut short. He has so much potential. As an artist, he, I feel like he was going to be one of the biggest things we've seen in hip hop in a while. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Are y'all fucking with this new Pop Smoke album? Do you think that the label was just being greedy and went for the money grab and put this album together just to put it out to the people? Or did they really put an effort to making a good album in Pop Smoke's name? You guys let me know in the comments. Let me know what songs y'all bumping off the album. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. I'm out of here.